Since the Treaty of Versailles was signed in 1919, there have been only a few really momentous days in the history of Europe. Mussolini marching on Rome, Stalin launching his first five-year plan, Hitler breaking the bonds of Versailles one by one. Today comes another such mighty moment as Hitler's bond bursting finally carries Nazi expansion across the borders of Germany into the land of his birth. As officials pull down the frontier barriers, the political significance of these pictures is still too fresh in the minds of the world to need discussion. So without comment, we present the story of Germany's march into Austria, across the bridge over the river Salza into Salzburg. German cameramen have sent us pictures of school children saluting the armoured cars as they pass, of Austrian frontier guards welcoming German officers and riding side by side with them along the frontier roads. Along a dozen roads, the Iron Cross and the Eagle wave in the breeze. The shadow of the goose step falls on Austrian soil. While in Vienna, Austria's Nazi leader watches a gigantic parade from the balcony of the Chancellery. And in grass, Hitler himself drives into the city. This is the hour of his triumph, the hour when his dream of annexing Austria is realized. Whether that realization will become a calamity or not depends only on him. <laughs> 